Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code by weekly contest 107. It's a medium level problem and with a very low accuracy. Okay, uh, let's see what the problem is asking us to do. So the problem name is decremental string concatenation. Okay, uh, the problem statement says that you are given a zero indexed array words containing n strings. Okay, let's define a join operation join x comma y between two strings x and y as concatenating them into x y okay however if the last character of x is equals to the first character of y one of them is deleted okay for example join a b and b a now here the last character is equals to the first character okay so it becomes a b a right instead of becoming a b b a it becomes a b a one character is deleted okay however if you consider a b and c d e so just see this b is not equals to this c so it's a b c d e no character is deleted okay now you you are to perform n minus one join operations. Let string zero equals to word of zero. Okay, starting from i is equals to one up to i is equals to n minus one. Now for the ith operation, you can do one of the following things. Okay, you start with the first string, and then for all the other steps, this is what you have to do. Okay, you have two options. What are those options? Str of i is equals to join str of i minus one comma words of i okay whatever you have got till now you join it with the current word okay like whatever you have got till now is suppose x and the current word is y so either you can do x y or you can do word and str of i minus one that means you can also do y x okay something you have got till now and this is the current word so either join it like this or join it like this okay your task is to minimize the length of str of n minus one okay that is the final string that you get it should have the minimum length, right? Return an integer denoting the minimum possible length of str of n minus one. Let's look into the example. These are the three words that I have. Now, obviously, what does it say? It says that the first word that you have, you start from that, right? You start from a a. Okay, you start from a. Now, in the next operation, look, this is something you already have. Now you have one this extra this this extra string, right? How do you combine them? Remember, our task is to minimize the length. Okay, so there are two options. I have a a either I can make a a a b in this case this a will be deleted or what I can do I can do a b a a there are two options right if the last character of first word and first character of the second word matches one character is deleted so here I get a length of three here I get a length of four okay this is what I get now it's up to me what do I choose right because it's not a greedy thing because I have further I have more strings to compare right now this is what I get. These are the two possibilities when I combine these two. What's the next string? It is BC. Okay. Now let's try out. So here I have AAB. If I combine AAB with BC, what do I get? AAB and BC. This B will be deleted. The second option is BC AAB. Right? Here the length is 5. Here the length is 4. Let's come here. ABAA -A -A and combine it with BC. The length you get is 6. However, let's do it in opposite direction. B, C, A, B, A, A. So the length here is 6. Now, what is the minimum length that you are getting? Here you are getting 4, 5, 6, 6. This is the minimum length. How do you get it? You start from A, A. Okay. Then you combine A, B. And then you combine B, C. Simple stuff. So what will happen? After this step, it will become A, A, B. And after this step, it will be become C right so this is what you have to do just see at every level there are two options right there are two strings x and y you can either make it x y or y x both the possibilities you have to explore right you cannot take a greedy approach here right wherever you have to check the possibilities simple write a brute force solution using recursion see that whether you have any states repeating or not if you have it just memoize it simple if you are new to dynamic programming i would suggest you to you know go through some tutorials because again if i start explaining dynamic programming here the video will be long right it will be boring for you guys <laughs> that's what i i do not want to have in this video right that's why but yes I'll, I'll give you a glimpse of how it works okay similarly now you have a b this is what you start with so now you combine it with b the first option is a b plus b this will give you a b the second option is b plus a b this will give you b a b length is three length is two obviously you'll choose this length answer is two okay this is the minimum length let's see this 
A A A. You combine it with C. Two options A A A C. C A A A. Then A B A is there. Again, there are two options. A B A plus A A A C. What do you get? This cancels out. A B A A A C. What is the second option? First place A A A C. Then place A B A. Nothing is lost. Come here. C A A A and A B A. So this happens. Then again A B A C A A A. Let's check out the lengths. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the length here. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, six again. Here, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are the minimum two lengths that you get. Okay, you you can choose any length what you want. You just have to return the length. Both of these answers are valid. Any string you can form, and finally you'll get your answer, right? So this is how we have to uh, you know approach this problem. This is what the problem is asking us to do. Let's see the constraints. The constraints are the number of words that I can have is thousand, and each the length of each word can be fifty. Now just see here. Actually, the length of the word is fifty, but what is happening? We just have to see the first character and the last character of every word. We are not bothered about the other characters, right? Because when there is a match, I have to delete it, or I have to explore all the possibilities, right? So what will be a brute force approach? Here, a brute force approach is there are four possibilities, right? What are those four possibilities? Let's explore it and then write the code, and then optimize it, okay? And see how we actually write the code for these problems, okay? As I said, I have a string x, I have a string y. Right? What are the first? What are the two possibilities? Either I can make x y, or I can make y x. Now, if the last character of x and first character of y y matches, okay, then what I'll do? I'll delete one character, and I'll make it x y. Okay. I'll make x y. So there are two possibilities. Either the last character of x matches with first character of y, or it doesn't matches. If it matches. I will directly do x y. Sorry, if it doesn't matches, I'll directly do x y. If it matches, what I'll do? I'll do x y, and I'll delete a single character from here, right? Because there's a match, right? Similarly, what's the second option? Second option is instead of doing x y, you do y x. Now here, if the last character of y is equals to the first character of character of x, again, what happens? Either you can directly do y x if there is no match, or you can do y x and delete a single character. Right? These are the four possibilities. Right, these are the four possibilities that you can have. Right, we have to do it for every word one by one. Let's see what I am doing here. Uh, this is something I I'll come back. Okay, a three D dynamic programming solution that we have used. This is my main function. I have initialized everything by minus one. Why I have done it, I'll let you know. Okay, this is the function I call. Okay, this is basically the word which I am you know going to process, and these are a couple of terminators that I've used because I need to for the first uh, word. I have to pass some characters, right? I have passed comma. You can pass anything, okay? And these are the uh, words that you have, right? Now let's start processing. Okay. Forget about these things. Let's come here. This is my current word. Words of current word index, okay? This is my current word. This is the first character of my current word, and this is the last character of my current word, right? This is something that I just fetch it in in, in some variables, right? Now. If the first character is equals to this and the last character is equals to this, that means I am processing the first word. Now, when you are processing the first word, actually you cannot combine it with anything, right? I am considering that okay, I am coming at this step after combining all the words before it. But since you are starting from zero, this is the case for zero. You don't do anything. All you do is whatever is the length of the current word plus optimally solve for words starting from index one. This is the first character, right? And this is the last character, and you just pass the array. What do I mean by first and last? It means that whatever is the result I have till now, for that result, what is the first character and what is the last character? Okay, it will become more clear once we move forward. Okay, now what are the two possibilities? Either I combine previous word and the current word, and they do not, and they and they match, right? Previous current word matched. Just see the order: previous and current. Similarly, just see the order here: current and previous. Okay, that means if the previous is x and current is y. So here, what we are doing? X, y, and deleting one character because there is a match. Just see match. 
in this current previous that means we are doing y x and deleting a character from the middle i've initialized with max values because i'll be using these values afterwards right now the next thing is previous current word not matched that means while you are doing x y there is no match so you won't do anything right all you will do is whatever is the length of the current word right whatever is the length of the current word you take it okay and then just pass it solve current word uh, plus one now this is the first character right what is the first character the character i i, I receive from my recursive call why because suppose i am doing x y okay I am doing xy. What will be the combined result of xy? It will be xy. So the resultant is xy. So I will consider the first character of this and last character of this. Getting it? That is why, as I said, I am passing the first and the last character of the combined string so that it can be used in next iteration. Okay? So that's what. What? Current word plus one. First character, right? What you received from your function and current word last character because my my current word is y right so i have to consider its last character in the final result simple what is this current previous word not matched okay remember this then this is not matched okay current previous word not matched that means if my current is y previous is x so now i'll consider the since i'm combining it like this the first character of y what is the first character of my current word current word first character so okay so that's what I'm doing here. Current word, first character and last character of the result that you have. Simple. That's what we are doing. Now, just a couple of comparisons because I have to calculate the values for these two as well. Okay. What, what it comes out? If current word, first character is equals to the last character. Okay. Getting. You actually call the same function. It's just that current word dot length minus one, right? Instead of doing current word, you do current word length minus one because there is a a match right so the length will not be uh, current word dot length rather it will be current word dot length minus one similarly if you are doing y x and there is a match so current word dot length minus one just see here let me erase it and just make it a little bit clear right just explore all the possibility that's it okay here here you are forming x y here you are forming y x okay basically you will form right just the words say so x y y x now here since there were no matches you were just adding current word dot length here i'm cause, calling the exact same thing but with an extra minus one because now there is a match just see current word first character last character current word last character and the results of first character okay simple now answer is equals to math dot min of these four values right these are the four possibilities you just store it because again maybe in the not maybe but rather in the recursive tree you will again encounter this combination that for the current word if my first character is this and last character is this what is the minimum length right because this it's a recursive tree right you will have overlapping sub problems so you just store it and since i store it that is why what i am doing here just see if dp of current word first current word index first care last care current word first index first list first care last care if that is already computed if that is equals to minus one just return it do not do all this stuff right you just store it instead of recalculating it this is something that you do and obviously this is the boundary condition then once you have consumed all the words you just return zero right because the, the, the minimum length will be zero in that case right you need a base condition right so that is what we have done here again i have uh, use descriptive words to make it clear right matched matched not matched not matched previous current current previous previous current current previous right i hope this should be clear after this right i'm attaching the link to the code as well in the description so you can go through it that's an accepted code okay and yes since i have to see whether that is computed or not this is the trick right you basically since it's a 3dp you initialize every value i j k with minus one and as soon as you calculate it you just basically store it and return it right so yeah that's it for the solution i would say a very trivial dynamic programming problem right uh, yesterday's contest was easy but yeah a trivial dynamic programming problem if you have just started you'll just you'll enjoy it solving you're solving this problem right so yeah that's it for this video um, i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well and let me know in case you have any queries in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye